What's up YouTube, it's Spartan CC, and today I'm going to be showing you <clears throat> kind of a different video from what I normally make, but um, I have done some different Linux and Raspberry Pi videos and different things like that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go through a really easy um, <clears throat> way on how to make bash scripts for um, Linux. This works on any distribution, use on Ubuntu. Me, I'm just using it on my Raspberry Pi. This is my Pi hole. Um, just because it's it's really nice. I already have it SSH'd into it. So I'm going to show you how to make those. Um, I'm just going to be go going through a really simple um, command that you can put into it, and it makes it really nice. Um, so the reason why these scripts are, are, are nice is because you can put a lot of commands into um, a single thing and just run it. Uh, and you can also run them at startup, which is also what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So um, I already have a script created, but I'm going to show you guys how to create a new one. But I just have it named update.sh. So we can go and take a look at that and see um, what it contains. So it's really, it's really easy. Um, it just starts with the shebang uh, and then slash bin slash bash. And then I just have a update script. So the... Um, the hashtag, I guess, as we would call it, um, just is like a comment. So all this is doing is it's um, going to update and upgrade um, all of the different repositories and things that the um, that the Pi needs. Um, so normally, you know, I would need to run this command, um, you know, every time I would SSH into it, you know, every day or every week or however often you want to do it. But in this case, I don't have to type that in every time. So let me exit out of that. Um, so instead, I can just run um, dot slash update dot sh, right? That's all I need to do, and it will run that command that's in there. Um, so let's create one here. So it's pretty easy. You just do touch, and we can just name it new dot sh, and that will create a new one there. So then we want to do the same command as above, but we want to name the new.sh, and it'll bring up a, a new file, right? Nothing in it. Uh, nano is just a text editor. So if we do the shebang here, and then we do um, slash bin slash bash. Actually, you don't need a uh, bin slash bash. And then we can just call it whatever we want. Um, so in this case, we're just going to do the update script. So we'll call it the update script. Just for anyone that looks at it, you know, you can be like, okay, this is what it's doing. And you can put really any command in here. Like some people will have it say hello world, and you can create variables. But this is just going to be really simple. And this is a command that you know that you want to use. Um, you know, basically every single day, um, or or at least every week, in order to keep your um, you know, Pi or your Linux device um, always updated, right, for security reasons and stuff like that. So we're just going to do apt update and and makes it so that it does this other command right after it. Um, so then we just do apt upgrade. And then the TAC Y is just going to be to accept um, the upgrade when it goes to the upgrade. If you don't have that TAC Y, then it will make you press Y or N. Um, so then after you write this, pretty simple. Uh, and it depends what text editor you're going to use. But you can just do Control X, and then you will need to click or type Y, which will modify it and save it, and then just press Enter, and it will take you out. So now we have the um, the new one, but now we we would have to make it so that we can execute it. So if we just do the dot slash like we did up there for new dot sh, uh, well I guess if we do sudo dot slash new dot sh. Um, it's still not going to let us run it because it's not, um, it needs to be executable. So pretty easy. Just do chmod plus X and then new dot sh. And that should change it. And now it should be green, at least in my terminal is green now. Um, so now if we do dot slash new dot sh, it'll run it. Um, oh, actually I'm getting permission denied. So let's do sudo dot slash new.sh. That should do it. Um, you can also put sudo in the um, in the command itself, um, which we might want to try and see if that'll work better. So I'm just going to cancel that and let's go to sudo nano new.sh. 
And we'll scroll down here and we'll put sudo into here and we will save that. All right, and then let's do dot slash new dot sh. Much better, okay. So that's actually something I should change on my other one. Okay, so that's great and dandy, right? But who wants to, um, you know, come into the terminal every single day? Not me, right? I mean, it's kind of fun to mess around every single day or whatever, but if you do restart your Pi or your, or your device every single day, this way will make it so that it will do it on startup, which is really nice. So if you already created it here, there's a way we can copy it over. Um, but basically you want to go to um, the ETC folder. In here, there is one that is called, um, here, let me, let me clear this. All right, so there's one called init.d. Um, so we want to cd to init.d. And in here, I already have, if you see to the very right, update.sh, right? I just copied that over from um, the other one. So if I wanted to, you know, let's go back here so we can copy the new.sh to slash here, slash there. Um, permission denied. All right. Sudo sh etc init.d. We're good to go. All right, so now if we go to etc slash init.d, it should be in there as new.sh. So it's not just copied what we already made into there. Um, but you can also come into here, and if you wanted to create it, you would just do the same thing. So we would just touch a new file and just name it new1.sh. Um, okay, every time it says that, just use sudo new1.sh. So now we have that in there, but it's also not executable. So same thing, you just have to go in there, create the file as we did before, add all the commands that you want, and then um, make it executable. So the chmod plus x makes it executable, and then the file name after that, and then it should turn green. Um, for right now, I'm going to remove rm new one.sh and then uh, I want to delete that other one too. So now we should just have update.sh. So I'm going to actually do that because I'm pretty sure I don't have um, the sudo in here on this one. I do not. So we'll change that. So basically the init.d is always run when the um, when the, the Pi or, or, or the Linux system starts up. So it will run all of these different things as soon as um, it starts. So if it has that update.sh in it, it will run that bash script um, every time that the, um, every time that the, the Pi restarts or sets up or whatever again. Um, so pretty simple, um, this is a way that you can update and upgrade every single day without even having to get in the terminal. Always keep it upgraded because it doesn't do it by itself. Um, if you guys have any other tips, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day.